Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. I have two reviews for you today and um, one of the things was sent to me and the others I purchased. So I'll get started. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is this Glam Tox eye pen from the company Rodeal. This was sent to me by beautychoice.com which is a lovely website, it has all kinds of hair appliances and different skin care and they have amazing customer service which I'm a big stickler about so really really nice website and they sent this to me to try and forgive my voice I still have this cold thing going on but I feel fine so I've been using this for I don't know four days and basically I'm using this in lieu of like my hourglass concealer which is a stick looks like this so I've been trying this out to see what I think of it and um, this is how it goes on it's right next to the to the hourglass it goes on very very light but I think it has a very nice brightening effect and it does sort of tighten up that area I really really like this I like the way it feels I like the way it blends I like the way it doesn't cake up <clears throat> excuse me and I've had terrible allergies and this really is covering all that blueness. It is sort of pink tinged. It is definitely a pink toned concealer. But it reminds me a lot of, um, as far as color wise, Bisque from Bobbi Brown. And it really does work very, very well. Now the tube is interesting because it has a click, a click button, which I think is kind of fun. Sounds like that. And it comes out here. It's a little messy, I will say that. It's not um, neat. Now this reminds me a little bit of another product I really, really like, and that's the Garnier Renew Rollerball. But I think that's what the Garnier looks like. This is yellow toned. Uh, the, the thing I love about the Glam Tox eye pen versus this Garnier Rollerball is with the Garnier I need another concealer. This does it all. It conceals, it brightens, and it does um, what it claims to do. Now what it says is Rodeo Glam Tox Eye Pen is a unique formula that hydrates and conceals to immediately brighten and erase signs of fatigue. I would say it does that. Hyal Hyaluronic Acid restores moisture and smooths the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles while Lotus Extract helps to reduce the look of dark circles and puffiness. I definitely say I would definitely say this does exactly what it claims. I'm really happy with this product and I probably will repurchase this. So that is that part. The next thing I want to review real quick is I had hauled this um, a few week, couple weeks ago. Some brushes I ordered from Urban Decay. And I wanted to just kind of go through them and tell you my thoughts. First off, a lot of people are very interested in this. This is the Optical Blurring Brush. It's a foundation brush. I kind of didn't want to like this. I thought I have so many foundation brushes and the reason I have so many is because it, I don't always clean them right away and I also you know take them in my kit and whatnot. So um, the my previous favorite had been the Sigma F84 which is the angled kabuki and I liked it because you could kind of get into the corners and under your eyes pretty easily. I still love this but this is very nice. Now, this reminds me a lot of another Sigma brush. Let me see if I can find one. It's the Round Top Kabuki. I don't know if I have one in here. I think they're all in my kit. But it's similar, except it's shorter. So this is longer bristles with a little more give. But it's just the right amount. And I really love this brush. I really, really do. If you have some sort of reason that you don't own any, um, that's a, not what I meant to say, but basically if there's a reason you don't like to order from Sigma, whether it's that you can't see it in person or you just haven't used their products and you're interested in this one, I, I think it's it's worth the money. It's $24. It's not that bad for what you get. And it was it cleaned up so easily. So this is definitely a win in my um, opinion. <laughs> now next is one that I love. This is the powder brush and this one's a little more expensive. It was $36 but it's super soft 
and I'm totally in love with this. I really, really like this. This is probably my favorite powder brush I own. And um, again, I was just kind of thinking, well, it'd be nice to have another powder brush that would clean easily. Nothing would have prepared me for how much I love this brush. This is my favorite of the group. Next, I'm going to tell you about the blending brush, which is flat. I love this. I love this to get in the crease. I love this to tap powder on the lids. This is very universal, and I think this is a great, great brush. Then the last one I wanted to tell you about was the crease brush. And this is the one I'm not thrilled with. I, I don't dislike it, but I think it's definitely more of a blending brush than a crease brush. And I was a little disappointed with this one. Um, this reminds me a lot of the, well, this is the one that came in the Naked 2 palette. It, it's the same thing. So if you have this and you're not thrilled with it, <clears throat> excuse me, save the money, pass this one up, maybe get two of these because this is so multi-purpose. But anyway, I just wanted to give you my opinions of these brushes because they're really wonderful and I think you would like them. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.